Hey guys, it's Mark and welcome to Chatting with Mark Stice. I'm going to be using my phone over here simply because in order to be able to talk about this, I kind of need a little bit of a visual. So, flight suit on, so obviously this is going to be a, a pilot or Air Force related video and it certainly is. And it is about the MX-573 Vulcan Bomber. I have loved the Vulcan Bomber ever since I saw the movie James Bond's Thunderball. And I just fell in love with this RAF bomber. It, yeah, if you look at the outside picture, it's, it's obviously got the camouflage um, design on the wings and the body. It's kind of have that light blue with um, dark gray on it, which kind of gives it kind of a sleek, cool looking feeling. And I want to be able to take a moment to thank my friend Jay Warsley. Jay, thank you so much for this post. This this is absolutely awesome. You got to remember when Thunderball came out in 1965, the the Vulcan was it was a top secret aircraft. Nobody was allowed near it. I mean, you, I think what they were allowed to do is to go to the air base and just kind of take some basic pictures and some basic photographs. Um, but as far as the inside is concerned, I mean, here's obviously one of the. Um, the ladders that they use to get on and on and off the, the bomber itself and yeah this is a stark contrast of how the cockpit is versus how it looks in you know in the movie because clearly the pilot and co-pilot sit a lot closer together and if you look at the instrument panels themselves I mean look at all these freaking instruments there is no way that when the guy was actually going to do the whole scene with gassing the crew and stuff like that, there is no way the pilot wasn't going to be able to see him. I mean, just from this picture alone. This is utterly awesome. This is utterly fantastic. And this must be how the pilot or co-pilot bailed out, you know? Um, I mean, obviously you've got the classic, you know, triangle wing um, on this particular bomber. And I mean, this was state of the art for its time in 1965. And it's just amazing to look at there is absolutely no way that um in the movie thunderball i mean obviously they do creative license and stuff that they took a lot of creative license and stuff but there's no way that the pilot would have not have seen uh his co-pilot pull out that um uh, lethal poison uh, gamma gas ca ca cylinder you know and insert it into the oxygen supply i'm not even sure where the oxygen supply would be i mean Granted, in the uh, in the movie, it's on the right-hand side. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from this particular picture. But anyway, I wanted to be able to thank Jay. Jay, thank you so much. Um, I really like this. I really look forward to, um, if you actually get any more pictures, please send them my way. I would love to see that. So, as always, if you could, hit that like button. And, of course, hit that subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get. Well, that's it. I'm Mark Stice. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.